In this video, I demonstrate how to take a GVSU online math proficiency test via a sample test so that you can see how the system works. The Math 110, 122, and 123 proficiency tests are similar. For any proficiency you're going to test you're going to take, 110, 122, or 123, before you take the test itself, you should go to the corresponding website where you found the link to this video and download the practice test and complete it. Each practice test is representative of the kinds of questions and topics you'll encounter when you take the actual timed proficiency test. When you click the link to log into the actual proficiency test, it will take you to this URL that you see here on my screen, and you'll be prompted to log in. Enter your GVSU username and password. These have been sent to you from GVSU admissions. You can also set them up via your GVSU application portal if you've not done so. Once you log in, you'll see a list of six tests that you can take. Two versions of the Math 110 proficiency test, two versions of the Math 122 proficiency test, and two versions of the Math 123 proficiency test. Don't click on any of the links until you're ready to start, because once you click a link, the countdown clock for each exam begins and cannot be stopped. Today I'm going to show you a sample test so that you can see how the system works once you click one of the links. As you can see, this sample test has a 15-minute timer and only a few questions for demonstration purposes. So there are six questions listed here at the top. There's a couple of messages on this exam that are different than what you'll encounter on the official ones, and that's just because this is for sample purposes only. So I've mentioned the 15-minute timer that's clicking right now. You can, when you take the Math 110 test, the timer is 60 minutes. The Math 122 and 123 tests are 30 minutes, and those are proportionate to the number of questions on the exam. You should be prepared to do work on paper, to number your work and organize it. You're also welcome to have a calculator with you, uh, so you should have that ready when you start. Again, doing the practice test is really important before taking the actual exam. So like the questions that are shown here, all questions are multiple choice, and for each one, only one answer is correct. So choose the one that you want for each particular question. So as you go along and answer questions, as I'm doing here, you'll be doing work so that you can justify the things that are there. And then every two or three questions that you answer, one of the things that's wise to do is to click this button that says preview answers. What this does is this saves your work so that in case your internet uh, connection gets interrupted, you still have it. After you've done this, you can click down by, you can jump to the next question that you're on by clicking the links at the top of the page, right? And so you can see the answer preview for what's here. And all that's going to do is just repeat the choice that you have, that you have selected. So as I continue to work my way through uh, the options that are here, one of the things that you encounter is that some of the questions on the exam will have graphs. So those graphs uh, appear relatively small. If you click on that graph, you have the ability to enlarge it, and that enables you to see the scale that is present. Once you've made a decision about that particular question, you can go back and enter an answer that's there. And then once you have done this for all of the questions on the exams, so on the Math 110 exam, that'll be 25 questions. For the Math 122 and 123 exams, if you take those, that'll be 15 questions. Uh, it's important that you do a couple of things before you're finished. So one of the things that you want to make sure that you do is that you periodically hit the preview answers button to make sure your work gets saved. When you're getting close to the end like I am here, you want to scan the entire test to make sure you've answered every question. And then this is super important and the most important thing for you to take from the video when you're done. At the very end, you have to press this grade test button. Not until you're completely done, but when you're done at the end, press this grade test button. If you don't press that, your score will not be recorded. So in fact, you want to do all of these things. And so then at the very end, when you're done, I'm going to go ahead and click the grade test button. So the grade, the test gets marked and it tells me that my score was recorded and that my score on the submission is six out of six. In fact, if you go back to the landing page and you look at that result, what you'll see is right here, you'll see when you took the test and your test score on it. Okay. So the, the needed scores that are required to pass out of the various classes through proficiency tests, 110, 122, and 123, 
are detailed on the main landing page for each of the exams that you're taking. Uh, in everything, please see the website for full details on math placement, including contact information for where you can reach out if you have questions. Thank you for watching this video.